So today's quick class is called For Your Arms Only. So you might have guessed it's focusing on the arms, okay? Um, and it's only gonna be like a quick 15 minute blast of the arms, obviously a little bit of core posture work at the same time because we like to multitask. Now, if you've got circles of band, which I hopefully you've got, but don't worry if you haven't, you can use the long band and we'll, you can use it in the same way. But we need a lighter one and then a slightly stronger one for some of the work when we sit on the floor. So we are going to get stood up and get going because we don't have long. Okay. And find a nice set position. Bring your feet under your hips, okay? And just stand tall and have your lighter band in your hand. And just pop it across the wrists, okay? So if you haven't got a circle of band, just hold your band with a little bit of tension or tie it in a little circle. And then just gently push out on your band and just give your shoulders a roll. And think about just getting yourself ready to work. Breathe in, breathe out, roll those shoulder blades down. Inhale up, exhale down. Now, as we um, start to move, I want you to create some pressure on your band and lift your arms up into a Y shape. So when you come to the top, make sure you're maintaining that tension and then bring it back down. And I want to add some foot sways to this. So start to engage the core, stand tall, lift your arms up, maintain the outward pressure on your band and then lower. So this is really good for the shoulders, for the posture. Let the band relax at the bottom and then re-engage and lift. So we're working the back of the shoulders lower. And again, so we're going to fly through this workout from one arm exercise to the next. So if you need to take a break, you take one. Okay, if you need to pause, pause. And maintain that good posture. One more time, press out on your band. Come back down, now keep your feet on the floor, bring your band overhead again, and turn your palms forward. So keep some tension there. And then bring the band just behind your head and try and keep your elbows towards the floor. So we don't want this. Elbows tucked in, pointing down. And we're going to just pull and go behind the head if you can. Now, if this is too much for you, maybe for your neck, for your shoulders, come just in front of the head. Okay, here's your option. Don't let the ribs flare. We're going for eight. Seven, squeeze those elbows down, push out on the band. Five, it should shave the hair. Four, three, two, one, and release. Now come in front, turn your palms in, okay? So you're about chest high. Roll your shoulder blades down and back. Tighten your tummy up, and let's do these presses here, this horizontal push. So with a light band, if you can't get to 10 reps, you need to pick a slightly lighter band. Good, and in. So the shoulders will be burning by the end of today. The back hopefully will feel like you've worked, and the arms. Four, three, two, one, and release. Now bring the band behind your back and go back into that posture with the wrists. If you have any shoulder kind of issues, any pain, do this in the front, okay? But ideally, you should be able to get the hands comfortably behind the back. Now roll your shoulders down and back, lengthen through your neck, and you're gonna press out and back in. But watch the shoulders don't shrug. So we push and in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now hold it out, reset those shoulders if they've lifted and do little pulses. Push, 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 push. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And release, give your shoulders a roll. 
Final standing exercise for the arms, for the back of your arms, your triceps. So take the band onto your left palm, put your left palm to your breastbone. And then hold the band with your right hand. I want you to step back into a kind of almost calf stretch with the right leg. We're slightly leaning, hinging at the hips. We're going to straighten that arm. You should feel this tricep working and then bend the elbow back in. You don't want to be moving the shoulder, just your elbow. So we're having a go at this. 20, I'm afraid it's the big 20. 18, 17, we'll really squeeze as you push. 15, 14, 13, 12, 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one, and let's do a straight swap. So take the band across the right palm, fix it to your chest. So this is your anchor point. Straighten out your left leg and then push that elbow back. So you hold the band and you squeeze. So these are called tricep kickback. Focus on maintaining your posture, 18, 17. Tummy tight, hinging at the hips, not rounding the back. I think we're at about 10, nine. I just, I can't count, you know me. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and release well done just pop the band down for now take a big sweep of your arms up bend your elbows reach both fingertips down your back squeeze your elbows as close to your head as you can let's release that tricep on both sides tuck your chin in and release it out we're coming down onto the floor into all fours okay we want that lighter band still I promise you, you want the lighter band. Put the band across your wrists and come into your all fours. So you want there to be a little bit of outward tension on the band, but not too tough. Find your neutral position. And so let's do a couple of cat stretches because we want to use this opportunity just to mobilize the spine as well. So breathe in and then tuck the tailbone and just round your back. Draw up and release. Feel those shoulder blades move, squeeze them together and then press them apart. Go on, really press them apart, drop your chin and release. One more time. Let's go tuck, round, stretch and release. Now, find your neutral. Make sure your lower back stays nice and still. If you want to make this a little bit more core focused, you can lengthen out your left leg, okay? And if you want to make it harder, you can lift the left leg off. What we're going to do is we're going to keep this right elbow bent at 90 and press out and in. Okay, so this is working the lats. Okay, so this is the move. If you want to balance, go for it. Really push off your left hand and let's push out and in. You don't have to add the leg. You could just stay in all fours. 10, nine, look down, keep your chin tucked. Six more, six, five, four, tummy tight, squeeze that glute if your leg is off. Last two, hold. Now hold it here, hold it and pulse. Six, five, four, Three, two, one, take a break. Take your knees apart, big toes together. Just take a quick shell stretch. Reach your arms away. Press your chest down in between those knees as much as you can. And then release. Quick change. Same thing on the other side. Reset yourself, find neutral. Push those shoulder blades flat, tuck your chin. Let's go. So you turn the palm slightly and then you press up. 
So lat raise, lead with your elbow, bent elbow, lifting and lowering. 10. Are you really pushing away from the floor with your right hand? 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Let's hold. I forgot to lift my leg. Hopefully you all remembered. Let's pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And release. This time come back. Give your shoulders a roll. Give your wrists a little shake. Okay. Now, there's a couple of options for the next one. So we're coming into a plank or a modified plank position. And we're going to do some rows. Okay with a little bit of rotation. So this is what it's gonna look like. You put the band across your left wrist and you just hold the other end. Now the slightly more, slightly modified position is on your knees and you're going to just pull up with your elbow and try and rotate your upper body. So all right side first. If you want to make it harder, come into a plank, you'll pull and rotate and back down. So. You can almost put the palm of your hand on the band to stop it sliding too much. Okay, should we do this? So kneeling, you can even just stay in all fours, okay? This could be an option, or you can make it harder taking it into more of a plank. Breathe in, right arm leads, let's go. Pull, lift, tap the floor. Lift, tap the floor. Eight, turn, so you're rotating those hips. Five, four, three, pull that elbow up, two, one, release. Quick change. This is the last one in all fours position or on your hands. So stabilize that band with the right hand now and hold it so you can pull it with the left. Select your position. Feet nice and wide because it's quite tough to balance as you rotate. Breathe in. Let's go. 10. Tap the floor. Really turn and follow that elbow. 7. 6. Exhale. Inhale. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Now release. I know you're all hating me right now, okay? Your arms and your shoulders will like me though. Now you want the slightly stronger band now for our last section. Keep your light one nearby in case you need to make a quick emergency swap, okay? And then take the band across your feet, overhand grip. Now sit nice and tall in this long sitting position. If you struggle, okay, because your hamstrings are tight, please get yourself up on a block because I'd rather your back was in a good position. Okay, so see how that feels. Okay, overhand grip, breathe in. We're gonna pull the band towards the chest. So we're going to squeeze the elbows out. So I'll show you how it looks from the front. Elbows out, but shoulders don't come up. Do you see that? Shoulder blades down, elbows nice and wide. So again, this is lovely postural exercise. Breathe in, sit tall, squeeze, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. I'd like you to have a little hold almost here. Hold, release. And again, hold, release. Release, good, let's keep going. Squeeze, go on, work those muscles in the back of the shoulders and between your shoulder blades, as well as your core to hold you here. Four, and your biceps are working by the way. Last two, we're gonna do some pulses though. We're gonna hold it here and we're gonna pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one, and release. Just reach forwards, take a little stretch. If you're on a block, you can stay there. 
is we're doing one more long seated exercise. Take your band across your right foot and turn your palm up to hold the band. And what we're going to do is we're going to keep the palm up, we're going to pull the elbow and we're going to rotate to the right, keeping everything else still. Now you can either just rest your hand down on the floor or the thigh, or if you want to make this more of a challenge for your posture, put your hand to either your forehead or the back of your head. Breathe in, pull round to the right, bring it back. Again, pull, palm up, squeeze. We're getting a little bit more bicep and we're working the waist. Twist and release. We're going for eight more. Eight, seven, six, stay really tall as you rotate. Four, three, two. Guess what? Pulses. Hold it here and twist, twist. Twist, twist, four, three, two, one. And release. We are nearly there. Let's hold this band, palm up. We pull that elbow to 90 and we twist the other way. Elbow nice and wide here. This elbow just naturally pointing back. Breathe. Let's go. And release. Really twist through your ribs, try not to lean back. Use that core. We're going for eight. Six. Five. Get those ribs round. Four. Three. Two. Hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Pulse. Pulse, little twist. Lead with the ribs. Four. Three. Two, one, and release. Band back across both feet. Bring the soles of your feet together. Put the band over your wrist. Now you might want a stronger, um, a weaker band for this if this feels too much for the front of your shoulders. We're gonna scoop out the tummy and we're gonna just pulse up. So I'm just using a bit of core, scooping down. You can still sit on your block. <clears throat> and we're going to pulse up, front of the shoulders, shoulder blades down, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, hold, see if you can balance, bring your feet off, push them away from each other, scoop out, hold for 4, 3, 2, 1, and release. I'm going back to my lighter band and I'm going to roll down onto my back. We're going to finish with some bridge and a little bit more shoulders. And this is it. So band across the wrists again, feet hip distance. I want you to push out on your band throughout. Take your arm back towards the floor without releasing the tension. And then bring it back down towards the tummy and then gently release the tension. And we're going to combine this with your bridge. So breathe in, imprint your back, push out on your band and roll up through your spine. Don't release the tension. Hold. And let's slowly return. So control it. Keep the tension on your band. Massage back down through your spine. And then only when you get back to neutral do you release the wrists. Again, push and lift. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Overhead we go. See if you can get to the point where your thumbs nearly touch the floor or do touch the floor. And then slowly back down. This may pick up any weaknesses through the back of the shoulders. One side may feel a bit shaky. Breathe in. One more. Squeeze out. Now hold it overhead, don't touch the floor, straight arms, squeeze the glutes and just pulse out on your band. Last time, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring it all the way back. Put your band away, hug your knees in. Put your 
chin just roll into a little ball and then do a couple of rocks and see if you can bring yourself all the way up. Let's finish with a couple of stretches because you're going to feel those shoulders and arms tomorrow. We're going to take your right arm across and hold the back of to push it round. Watch the shoulder, draw it down and feel the stretch across the side and the back of the shoulders. So this is your deltoid muscle. Let's do the other one. Press it round. Good. And take a deep breath. So lift up your arms, big push up, push back. And then release them around, pop them on the floor behind you. Drop your shoulders down, lift your chest, stretching out the front of your arms as well. Good, come back. Interlink your fingers, let's stretch the shoulder blades apart now. So as well as the back of the shoulders, we want to push the shoulder blades apart and feel those muscles in between. Breathe into them. And then lift up your arms and turn to the right and then bring your right hand behind you and your left hand onto the right knee and just look round, twist the ribs and come back. One more, inhale, turn the other way, release your arms, breathe in, bring it back. Let's stretch the neck, roll those shoulders. Okay, from here, take your right hand around to the other side of your waist and clasp it with your left hand and then take your left ear to your left shoulder. And hold it there. Nice, lovely stretch for the muscles, especially that come into the front of the neck. And let's do the other way. So reset yourself, tuck your chin in, hand to the other side, grasp it with the right hand, Right ear to right shoulder. Good, one more breath. And release, back to the center. One more shoulder roll, drop the tension and just relax. Well done, I hope that went okay for you. Quick arm workout, great to add on to another short class or if you've been sat for a while and things feel really tight, do that one again whenever you need to. Have a great day and I'll see you again soon.